Hey everybody, welcome back to PhotoRec.TV. I'm Toby and this video is my favorite, actually it's my second favorite video to make all year. It's where we chat a little bit about you picking your very one, just one, favorite photo from all of the ones that you captured this year, submitting it to PhotoRec.TV for the year-end slideshow. Making the year-end slideshow is my favorite video to make of the whole year. Now, this year was a little different for all of us, I think. A little less travel, probably a little less photography for many of us, but I got out there camping, road tripping, socially distancing at time, and I saw a lot of other people doing the same. So I'm really curious to know from you all, how much different was your photography this year in sheer numbers? Me, I'm about a third of what I've been over the last couple of years. Typically, the last couple of years, including a few time lapses here and there, I'm up about 60,000 photos near the end of the year. And this year, I'm sitting right at just over 20,000 images. So I'm really curious to hear from you all about that, but, but I'm gonna keep this video very short and simple and tell you just what you need to know to submit to me one image for the year-end favorite 4K slideshow of your favorite images. Can I sneak favorite in there one more time? So let's take a quick look at them. All right, your job, search your library for the favorite photo that you captured in 2020. One photo. I'd love a 16 by nine horizontal crop because that's going to fit most of our viewing devices very, very nicely. But if your photo doesn't look good in a 16 by nine, you certainly don't have to submit it that way. Vertical, portrait, square, those are all just fine. If you would like to add a small watermark to your image, you are absolutely allowed to do that. I would just recommend that you put it down in the corner because if it's across the whole image, that's definitely going to detract from our, our enjoyment. It should be a JPEG submitted to me with the long side being 4,000 pixels. It can be higher, but lower than that and at a 4K resolution, that's the resolution I'm going to publish this video out at, it won't look quite as good. So if you have your favorite image at least that big, great. If it's smaller than that, Oh, I'll probably have to make a judgment call. I really like to avoid having to make judgment calls during the putting together of this video. Uh, so really, I'd appreciate it if you did that part of the work. And it's important to name the file name, your first name and last name. And there is a link right down below this video for you to submit. Now, there's been a bug in years past. I actually haven't checked this year or not. If you submit directly from an iPhone through this link, it does not allow you to correctly name the file. And if the file isn't named your first name and your last name, then I'm not going to accept it because maybe you're trying to sneak in a duplicate or I don't know. People try to do different, different things. So keep that in mind. All right. Uh, so pretty straightforward. By submitting your image, you're authorizing me, Toby at photorec.tv to put it in the year in slideshow. That's the only thing I will do with it. If for any reason I want to do something else, I will ask you, but I've never done that. Just want to make sure that's there. Uh, make sure you don't give me the only one. I'm, I don't even know how that's possible, but one year somebody said, I gave you my only copy. Can I have it back? And after a certain point, I don't keep those images. So make sure it's a copy you're submitting me. It's a very strange thing to even say, but just make sure. Uh, and I'm not responsible for any copyright violations, of course, and I can't guarantee that I'm going to use your image, but here's the deal. In years past, I have submitted every image that was submitted seriously. And I say that because there are a couple of images every year somebody just submits as a joke. It's not fancy art or funky art that I don't understand. No, it's clearly a joke. So I'm not going to include those. But if you legitimately submit your favorite image of the year with your name on it, sized correctly, I can almost guarantee that I will submit it. Of course, I do have to follow along with YouTube laws and regulations as well, so keep that in mind. That's it. If you want to see what this slideshow looks like, if you've never participated before, again, the link right down below takes you to all of the information I just shared with you, along with a look at the past slideshow. This is, is it the sixth or the seventh time I've done this? This is the seventh time, seven years in a row, 
that I've collected images for this slideshow. I put some nice music to it. There's no advertising that runs on it. There's nothing except for your favorite image and everybody else's who submits favorite image all running together in a lovely little slideshow. So I really encourage you to take some time. I think it's a great exercise for you to look through your images and pick the one best one and submit them. If you've got any questions, if you've got any comments on this, you can leave them right down below. I appreciate you being part of this community. It's kind of an easy, nice way for me to give back to you all. Um, and uh, best wishes for the new year. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.